Hi there guys and welcome to another Turing Sim TV tutorial. Today we will be looking at uh, third rails. Now anyone that isn't familiar with third rails it is a tracking app um, which allows you to track your location whilst driving um, a scenario within Train Simulator 2018. Now this broadcasts your information onto a website where anyone in the world can see where you are driving. Now you, you download third rails from this website here I will put the link in the bottom of the video um, for you to download. Um, once you have installed the um, program, you'll uh, obviously get your little icon on the desktop. Now um, you need to launch this up. And uh, what I'm going to show you is how to um, set yourself up to broadcast. <coughs> also, using the GSMR and how to create your own timetable for the GSMR. So you can uh, have, have a Bing Maps view which gives you the full terrain or you can have a bit more of a basic open maps street view I tend to use the Bing Maps now to get yourself on the map um, and pause the minutes, well for this instance I'm on the uh, Wimbledon South London uh, route from back data train sim for this so unpause the game click the little play icon this now, um, as you can see, I've put you up at uh, West Croydon, so you can scroll it out and see your location. It, depending on the route, it will um, either be pretty much spot on, or it might be a little bit out, depending on how the route's been set up. Most routes are usually alright. Now, next, you are required to click the next icon along, which is this like, little transmit button which is for broadcast so you click that it'll bring up a new window so this is just the basics um, let's just wait for this train to pass I will pause it and oh, here he comes right anyway so for this we need to put in some information and you'll start off with your name, so whatever you want, I, I'll just put my name in, so Thomas Harrison. Next, um, you need to put a tag, so whenever I'm streaming I'll put myself down as uh, Twitch forward slash Tom, spell it right, Tom has two. Now, um, service number, so for that you can either put your departure time, um, which I use for a timetable. If you're not going to make a timetable, it doesn't really much matter. You can put um, a head code in, so you could either put, like, let's just say 1, 1 Z, 50, whatever you want. For this instance, um, I'm going to put the departure time, which is 10, space, 43. Now your origin, you need to put wherever you are starting from. So, West Croydon. And the destination on this will be Wimbledon. So, at the minute we haven't got a timetable made for this, so we'll go back to that in a second. Um, so your stock information, so what are you pulling? So you've got, it's a two car EMU, so I'll just put, you can put what you want, but I'll just put a two car EMU. If you have a, a mixed rake freight, you can put what um, type of freight wagons in there, or Mark 1s, 2s, or whatever. Uh, TLC, so what company are you? So we are Connex South Central. Now, if I just click start broadcast, without doing the timetable, just click play, and we go to the correct website for the tracking, so we need to go rentor.nl for this. It'll open up the map, and as you can see, it has put us up in the uh, country we're in. Usually this gets quite a few more people on, but obviously at this time of night I'm filming there's no one on. Um, so you scroll right in there and you can see that we are currently at West Croydon. So you can click your name and it'll give you the, all the information you've typed in, so the, te uh, the train number we've put time, and it's got my, my username in there for me Twitch, driver name Thomas Harrison, West Croydon to Wimbledon, we are on an APW uh, class 456 connects, driving the DMSO. Uh, it's a two-car EMU which we've pointed and we are down at Connect South Central. 
So that's pretty much the basic way of doing the third rails. Um, I'll just shut this down for a second. Now, if you want to be a bit more in depth, um, you can click the broadcast button again. And you can make yourself a timetable. Now this works out um, with the GSMR app, which if you right click, click GS, uh, GSR radio, sorry. It'll uh, bring up this little device here. And when you make a timetable, you can actually have it in here uh, when you've enabled it in. But at the minute we haven't got one enabled. And you can have a, a guard, it calls out the stops. So, this also all, you can actually type bits and pieces in. Um, we'll come back to that in a second. So to get that working correctly, um, we need to click broadcast. Click this little uh, open timetable editor, and then you'll bring us up a new window. You need to click new timetable by hand, and it'll put a new field in. So following your briefing timetable here, you do want to put all the stops in. So we've got West Croydon. Um, sometimes it depends if it's type of time, uh, if it's timetable or standard. But we're on a timetable scenario, so it'll give you the it's a ten forty uh, for ten forty and a departure of ten forty three. We are in platform two. So next is Wadden Marsh. Nothing else to put in for that monster. It's not giving us the information. Uh, Beddington Lane. Same again, there's nothing there. Mitcham Junction. Same again. And then Mitcham. Morden Road. Merton Park. And Wimbledon. And once again, this has given us a, a time of arrival, so we can put this in, like, in the platform. So at Wimbledon, and we are arriving at uh, 11:04, and we depart at 11:06, and we are arriving on platform 10. So this scenarios are there and back, but um, for this uh, instance, we're just going to do the one way. Just for this, you can put whatever you want in on your scenarios. Right, so. We've made the, the timetable, we need to click save. You can name it whatever you want. I actually I have actually done this before by the way. Um but for this instance I'm gonna make you a new one. So it's just a let's call it YouTube test. Um this saves them into your documents. So I'll just click save and I'll show you where it saves them. We can close that window. So yeah, it goes to your documents. So documents, uh, third rails, services, and then they're all in here. You need these obviously while you're ever going to run a scenario. Once you're done with them, if you don't want them, you can delete them again. So that's that. So to get it to appear, you now need to click these little three dots within the timetable bar. It'll bring up a window of all the timetables. So YouTube test we've made. Click open. And now you can see it says YouTube test.ttt. So click resume. And then you need to click GPS R radio. And once again, it'll bring the little box up. To get the announcements, you now need to go down to the bottom right above the cross, um, which is like a little, a little guard icon. Click that. Now you, you have a, a set collection of three different voices. I tend to use Hazel, it's a bit it's probably the best one to use to be honest. Uh, I'll put the volume up. You need to click active and then just click off the box. Guard is present on this service. So as you can hear guard is now active. So to get the timetable you need to click E B U L A which is above the guard which brings this box up. Now it'll start you up saying current uh, West Croydon. Click the back if you want to do it as a start off, so it'll say where you are. And if you click the double 
play button which says approach it'll uh, read out your timetable like so this is the 1043 West Croydon to Wimbledon service calling at West Croydon Wadden Marsh Beddington Lane Mitcham Junction Mitcham Morden Road Merton Park and final destination Wimbledon now approaching West Croydon so as you heard it's just read out your timetable you've typed up um, once you've done that station you can also press uh, the play which will just say next stop uh, approach and I think it's the next stop so we'll do that next stop West Croydon you can click the next which will take you to the next station next stop Wadden Marsh now the next little cool thing is if you open up the Rentor map as you can see it's just brought a little message up saying next stop so if I change it let's just say Wimbledon if I click play next stop Wimbledon. Oh, Trigger. There you are. Um, it's just put next stop Wimbledon. Now you can put all sorts in here. Let's just say if you want to do a manual um, announcement, you can put a service message in. So you, can, you have a limited amount of text you can put in, but you can put uh, let's put this service ends here. Click the little signal for the post. This service ends here. And as you can see, it'll say this service ends here. Um, you can put whatever you want in there. There's a few different ones. Um, I've added loads in. Like, welcome to Tracing TV, blah, blah, blah. Like, Tracing TV streams daily. And that. You can put what you want. Apologies for the delay if there's a delay. And so on. If you click to the next stop, you can have all your platforms that you've been to. You can add these in. So you don't have to keep typing. If you, if you type it in, then click the little plus button. It'll add it, and then you can uh, use it again if you ever need to visit again. So, that is that um, in a nutshell. Um, I will put the link down below for you to download. It's it's a fairly simple installation. It finds your game for you, and as soon as you found it, it'll uh, it puts you straight in. You can do everything you need to do. Um, there is other aspects I've not learned yet, which I'm still learning. So when I do figure it all out, I will put new videos up. Um, the program does get updated regularly. So there's always new features being added. Um, so yeah, I do fully recommend it. If you uh, stream, it's quite handy as well. But uh, you can have it pop up on your corner screen, and it'll show everything you're doing, and it shows your viewers where you are as well at the time you're travelling. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. I hope this tutorial has been um, informative to you and helped you out in some way. Um, if you have any further questions, please do pop them in the comments below. I'll try and help out my best to my ability. And I will catch you on the next one. Thank you very much for watching and see you later.